class in the series on Swift programming. Those attending live through GoToWebinar, raise your hand if you can see my screen and hear my voice. I want to make sure everything is configured rightly. In your GoToWebinar control panel, there's a little hand raise icon there. Just like to make sure everything's set up and everybody can hear. Great. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about protocols and delegates. It's from chapter 12 of the book. And um, it's one of the things that new programmers that are new to iOS, um, whether they've had a programming experience or not, it's, uh, it's usually new to them because protocol and delegates as far as the protocol design pattern is only um, of, uh, usually done and performed in iOS development. So um, what we have in chapter 12 is an example, we're going to go through the example in the book, is where it's a sort of a random number guesser. So it chooses a random number between 1 and 100 and you have to guess it and it tells you if it's too high or too low. And the way I structure this application to demonstrate protocols is that you, when you click on the guess number button, it takes you to another screen where you enter the number. I'm going to hit save and it passes that number back to the protocol, uh, back to the other view and determines if it's too high or too low. So let's go through the code real quick on how to understand. I think it really helps to understand how protocols work. And sometimes the word protocol and delegates are used interchangeably, um, but I'll show you what the formal definition of it is here. So um, here we have our main view. This is where they click on the guess um, random number and it takes them to the next view. And the next view is the guess input view controller. And that's the one that I'm looking at right now. And in that view, I have a protocol defined. And you'll notice the signature for a protocol is very similar to a class. Matter of fact, just the name is different. The other difference is, is that the implementation of your functions or methods are not in the protocol. That is left up to the class that implements or what's called conforms to that protocol. So here we have um, a guest, it's called guest delegate, and it has one um, function in it. And the reason that we use protocols in iOS programming, and it talks about it in the book, bring up the, the sort of the picture here, is that we don't have multiple inheritance in, IO, in, in Swift programming, in iOS programming, like we do in other object-oriented programming languages. Um, so here is a, um, here's a class, it only inherits, only has one parent, and the next class above it only has one parent. We don't have multiple parents like we do in other programming languages. And um, there's a number of reasons for that, and I talk about it in the book. Um, but the advantage now of that is that you know where that method, who that method belongs to. It, instead of it being in one or more parents, you know that it's either the parent or the, um, or the grandparent um, to that class. So now when we go to use this uh, delegate or protocol, when we go to use this, I'm going to use it in the view uh, controller. And here's, the, here's how we use that. We have our view controller class. Its parent is UI view controller, which is very typical. And then we only have one parent, so that's what's listed first is who's the parent, and then comma, and then one or more delegates after it. In this case, we just have one, and it's going to use the guest delegate, which is defined in the Swift class. So here it is. Now, we have to implement this function. If we say we're going to use guest delegate, we have to implement that, that class. And that class that we said, and we had listed, in the protocol was the user did finish. And this is the signature for it. If we did not list this here, I'm going to comment it out. And you're going to see that we're going to now get a compiler error saying that we are not conforming to the guest delegate. Like we said we were. We said we we're going to conform to it, but we're not listing it. So here's where we define what we want the user did finish to do. So let's go through how this works. So when they hit the play, um, I'm sorry, when they hit the button, um, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to call a segue. And in this segue, to go to the next view, 
we're going to de uh, declare our object for our guest input view controller. And in the guest input view controller, we have a property called guest delegate. And if we look at it, here it is, guest delegate, it takes our protocol object here. So there it is. And we're going to assign self. We're going to assign this view controller to guest delegate. Okay. Now the great thing about that is, is now when we're ready to go and we're ready to guess the number, which what we call save guess action, we're now we now have that um, view controller object here. We know how to access it. We pass self to it, and now we can access the user did finish method or function. And here's the signature for it. So if I was to put my uh, breakpoints on. And if I was to run the application, we can see this um, actually working. So I'm going to call, let's set uh, one more breakpoint up here. Let's go to the view controller. Let's go to the segue. And let's go ahead and uh, run it. So we're going to call guest number. We're going to hit our breakpoint in our segue, which is going to set ourself to our delegate. I'm going to just let it run. We're going to go to the next view. So right now we're looking at the guest input view controller view. I'm going to enter my number with my keyboard here. Oops, the code. Enter 55 here. And I'm going to hit save guess. And now we're going to hit our breakpoint where we're going to step into, I'm going to step into that function. Step out into it, out of it here, then into it. There we go. So now I'm in this function. And now this is what's going to determine if I guessed it correctly or not. And, um, and if, it's, uh, if my random number was what I needed or if it was too high or too low. So that's um, a quick example here on YouTube on the basics of protocols, delegates, how to implement it, how to pass information from one screen to another, one view to another using delegates, and how to conform to our protocols. Um, again, chapter 10 is the chapter where I go through and explain this in the book. And of course, you're welcome to join me in any of my courses um, at excelme.com. Thanks for joining. And uh, those attending live, if you want to stay, um, stay on, I'll be able to answer any of your questions. Um, on this particular chapter or anything on iOS programming. And again, if you go to excelme.com, you can go ahead and subscribe to the, uh, to the uh, YouTube uh, videos as well as attend um, these live sessions. Just click on free and you can click on the YouTube or attend the GoToWebinar sessions. Thanks for attending, everybody, and I'll be happy to take your questions for those attending live.